Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to the episode of Transport Fever 2 which we're watching one of our brand new electric passenger trains uh, leaving New Orleans on the brand new routes that we created in the last episode uh, and guys, things are going swimmingly we are making more money than we ever have done before the previous year was the most money I believe yes, it was one million more than the previous year the most money we've ever made in a single year. If I spread this out for like 50 years, we are at record highs for the cash that we've got coming into our pockets right now. Uh, but today we're going to continue the expansions. We bought all these lines coming from many places. We've got a route coming from uh, uh, Miami straight into New Orleans. One from Charlotte straight into New Orleans. One from Detroit, again, straight into New Orleans. And we will eventually expand it over into Houston and, you know, off it goes again before it does connect up and we can get trains from the East Coast to the West Coast. A lot of you guys want to implement some more planes in. We're going to set up a couple of, a couple of uh, future episodes where we start to integrate and create more of an international-based uh, kind of airline routes. But today I want to take a look at feeding the Caribbean islands. Now we have Havana, we have the Bahamas, we have the Turks Islands, and we have all the way at the top right now, Bermuda. We did show it a little bit of love, but I expanded a little bit more of the land within the Turks Islands, and it just kind of literally quadrupled the population. Look at the growth go through the roof right now, which is absolutely crazy. I want to see if I can add a bit more to this to kind of bulk it up a bit more to make the current routes a little bit more profitable. I want to change some of the boats and see if we can get any of the goods that they're kind of requesting uh, delivered to their islands. So as always, guys, if you are enjoying the series so far and want to see more, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new around here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when that next episode does come out. Now, there's a lot of stuff we got to do. These islands, apart from Havana, uh, all require fuel. The Turks require fuel. The Bahamas cry with fuel, and the Bermuda requires fuel. Now, we do have the ability over here to create fuel, uh, fuel from these refineries. Problem is, there's no oil technically around here to bring it over. The closest place that produces oil is in the Gulf of Mexico right now, and we also have a little bit of oil plants over uh, in Texas. So, there's a couple of ways in which we can kind of look at doing this. Uh, we could maybe kind of collect a load of the crude oil here, get it to be refined into oil oil, and then placed into the refinery over here to create the fuel. Very expensive, yes I know. But also, with all these little kind of farming areas around here, is there any more uh, food plants within this vicinity that we could potentially utilize? I know we've got the one there, uh, but there just seems to be a lot of farms, don't there? Oh, there, in Oklahoma, perfect. So I could produce food there, bring the food, food and the fuel down to like some kind of shipping harbor, and then we can boat it to these islands. It does seem like a really far way away, but just imagine the cash money moon you're gonna be making in return. It would be glorious. It would be glorious, very, very good. But that's all future stuff anyway. We're gonna first look at trying to expand these islands to begin with in the first place. So, Let's take a look at, in ways we can kind of reclaim a little bit more land to give them a bit, little bit more ability to grow. Now, I don't think there's much growth expansion that's going to be taking place in the Bahamas, but we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. I think it's mainly kind of extending the coastline slightly, so the buildings that do grow on these roads have a bit more space to be a little bit larger. It would be a big help for these guys to be, you know, a bit bigger. So it gives them a lot more space. We'll kind of come down here as well. We're extending the beach and stuff like that down. There we go, boys. There we go. Kind of just cover this area up slightly. And of course, come into here. Right. Not much going to happen for the Bahamas because it's already at its maximum at this moment in time. Now, Havana right now, we could definitely do some expansions around here to kind of bulk this island up slightly. So if I invest money into these islands, it means they get bigger, which then makes more demand and more passengers and more people, which ultimately then makes me more money in the long run. So that's how we have to look at it. If I invest in these little towns and cities, I'll get more money back in return. 
So extending and expanding where I can. For a bit of growth. We might have to smooth in this bit around here. And I think we should all also kind of look towards smoothing the edges off. Because they can look a little bit funky <laughs> if I don't do this. So that will help out a little bit. Again, not too much, but it gives us the room for expansions. Uh, did I smoothen over here rough again? Sorry. I don't think I did too much smoothening. But we'll do what, like, what we can anyway. We'll do what we can. All right, there we go. So this is the island that kind of expanded and extended the most. We'll see what we can do here as well. Now we'll kind of give it a wide berth for this island. Plenty of additional room for now more expansions. Because we're going to go crazy on these islands. We really are. And Bermuda. We haven't really extended this uh, in quite some time. So we'll bulk it a bit more. And then we'll look towards changing up some of the, uh, the, the, the ships that kind of come to these islands. To really increase the capacity. Make them more efficient. For us to make more money in the long run. Right, there we go. So we've extended them ever so slightly. Now let's take a look at the routes. So we have the route here right now. This, uh, if I check the actual route itself, it goes from Miami to Havana to Bahamas and back. It is a nice little triangle. Now we've had this ship for 102 years. That is a very long time. Now if I replace this ship for passenger-wise, um, is, is it this ship here? It's No, it's not that one, no. Um, but I could get these uh, these little hovercrafts, which are a lot faster. They're a lot faster. They do 58 miles an hour. They only carry 20 passengers, but would that be coming often enough that it can get people to where it needs to get to a lot easier? It's carrying 76 passengers right now. It might be a case where we can get multiple hovercrafts. Or the other alternative is some of these ship, do any of them carry like all types of cargo including passengers no it's either passenger or nothing so it's now got a hundred people on board if i replace it one of these which is not a good idea because i've now just kind of completely limited what it can do i might need a second second um hovercraft on this so if i was going to pull out a, an additional hovercraft and let's just see how much you can kind of destroy through all of this. So if I have a fast forward, it's now like three times as fast this boat. So we can transfer the passengers three times as quick. But we really need it to move a lot of people. So it, it could be a case of where I need multiple hovercrafts right now. But look how quick it is. It's zooming to these destinations. Yo, we got hovercrafts, guys. What's going on? This is amazing. Now that going back, to got 20 on board still. We've still got a lot of people here waiting. But I reckon we need to get another hovercraft on board right now. So du clone you, duplicate yeah. There's uh, quite a few people still waiting here. So hopefully right now, if I give it a few circulations of the three hovercrafts, we might be at capacity. It, it's, it's just a simple case of they're coming quicker and often, so we might be okay. I'm at capacity, but We'll give it a few circulations to see the kind of the difference. Now, for this one, it's a bit more difficult because of the sheer depth and length that it's got to travel. This boat goes 20 miles an hour. So if I was to replace this, I could do this one for 43. It's a beautiful ferry, high loading speed. So if I replace it for this, which this has a capacity of 150, this one has a capacity of 100. So replace... There we go. So now that this is a lot quicker, so it will get to the destinations faster. But again, is it enough to have consistent flows? And where does that one go, by the way? That one goes straight to Miami and back again, doesn't it? Yeah. So we'll play around with this anyway. See what we can ultimately do. How many people are here now waiting? 20 is another um, hovercraft about to pull in. So I reckon three is the magic number at the moment. I reckon it could be the magic number. But we need to start thinking about bringing cargo to these uh, these Caribbean islands. So 
obvious one would be setting up a nice little fuel run, but we also need to integrate the, the food as well. So what's the best way to do it then? So it would be nice to implement ships. I, I mean, there's nothing stopping me as well. Hucking all this up and then training it all the way down to Miami. But the only fear I've got there is Miami will steal the food off them because you can't control where the food goes. That's the problem. But I could bring it to a, a kind of a harbor area and then take it to where it needs to go to on huge ships which will obviously take a long long time to get to their destinations that's the only downside to all of this but again there's nothing stopping me training it to a harbored area that's not at a city and getting it to go where it needs to go to but i could create like a mass shipping hub going through the gulf of mexico so that's also a kind of a cool idea i suppose you can't win either way can you you can't win either way so to get this all set up then we've got to literally be kind of careful about how we kind of set all this up and how we do all this uh, we really do need to be kind of careful about this so right let's 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 do it step by step let's do it step by step now do i want to bring the oil from over here to here or the shipping ship the oil from there i reckon we ship the oil first it could be quite useful to integrate and utilize ships in general so if I just flatten all of this to a certain point so I can build a cargo harbor so let's rotate I want, I want it to be large and oh how many do I go for four four sounds good to me boys bam there we go and then we've got a set up which is going to be quite difficult right now all right rotate this um harbors on all of this how am i gonna do this hmm right, i gotta slightly raise raise to the point where it's out of the water right is that out the is that class as being out of the water y yes it is So flatten. Right, is that ah there we go. That, that is definitely enough. So one there. Oh, I didn't need to do it. I, I don't think I needed to do it at all. One there and one there. So that's now all in. So what I could do is create three brand new routes, which is sounds crazy to do it. Because I can keep them all separate. So one there to there. Right, because I don't want it to kind of go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, because it won't give me the ultimate demand that I require. And then bam. Bam. i got to rename all these new lines as well. i still got to do all that. So that's three routes going into over here, and I'm just going to make sure that we get them all on different... So is this the Houston, uh, the Houston, Texas port, isn't it? Yeah, so that's in one. This one here, we can go for number two. This one here will go for number three. So, actually, we'll go for number four. So, they're all kind of then separate. So, if they all duck at the same time, we can all unload at the same time. So, that's going to bring a load of oil, a crude oil here, to produce oil. So, you get crude oil, and then it gets refined into oil oil, which will then take over to here. So, I don't know whether I'll drive it over. We'll most likely drive it over. And I might have another, like, port over here somewhere. So, oh, I just realized there's a refinery here as well. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying for two reasons. Right. I've just spotted this. If I connected a road... Would these be connected to this train station? Because this might completely change my game plan altogether. If that went to there. If I brought this over to there. The answer's no. Okay, the answer's no. 
So delete those roads. The answer is truly no, but that does give me a few options in the future. Now what I could do is I could save these here for the cities that require the fuel on on the mainland because I want to utilize all these as a, uh, a a sweet little um ship and run so let's get some ships all set up first then so where is the the shipyards all the way over here uh, so we're going to go for cargo and obviously we'll go for big cargo now these huge uh, towboat tankers right now top speed of 90 miles an hour that's not the best but then looking at everything else, this is the only one here, this Merlin, which does 20. But that doesn't carry fuel. So if I get three of these puppies, and I put one on each of these new routes. So get over to here real quick. So set these up right now. So line six. Line seven. And then line eight. So that will feed the fuel to this area here, this refinery. Nice and simple, nothing too crazy going down. But I also need to bring food down here so I can bulk this up as well. Problem is, this train line is going to run into Houston and then go into San Antonio. I feel like I need to set up the train stations here because I'm going to have to somehow um, bring the food down and it's going to turn out that it's going to then have to kind of technically crisscross. Which is not really going to work out too well, is it? Hmm. Yeah. Interesting right now. That's interesting. So. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So them ships now on the way? Yes. My towboat tankers are now on the way to collect a load of fuel to bring it all the way to here. Sweet, mate. Sweet. So, if I was to have then Houston set up, I need to kind of first figure out where the industry is. So, the industry is all here and the residential is just there. So, if I just pause the game real quick, because I'm going to have to do some deletings right now for Houston to get a train line to run through. Now, it does mean I've got to cause ultimate destruction and chaos yet again. But that's where we're going to run it. This is where we're going to run it right now. So, train station. I need the side one. High speed. And again, this is going to be quite an important train route. So, I kind of want to have it like this. We've still got enough industry and both types of industry as well, which is important. So that there. Now this is going to be your standard station. There's nothing too crazy about this. Not like the New Orleans one where it's like all over the place. Your standard four lane station. Bit of cargo, bit of passenger on both sides. So platform, cargo. I've got to delete this side real quick. I've also got to delete that little bit of road there. All right, let me delete that real quick. Configure. And then passenger this side. Oh, messed that up there, didn't I? There we go. Oh, no, got to configure. Right, I'm in the wrong section here. Deleting, aren't I? Yeah, there we go. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We'll get the passenger building on the opposite side. There we go. Get some smaller ones either side of that. And... Yes. I believe that's all we need to do, right? I mean, technically, I could get some cargo buildings down. Just build you there, you there. Build you there, have you there. So, just again, additional connections. Uh, delete this little bit just here real quick. Now, I'll connect the road up in just a moment. I just want to bring the train line out. Because it's got to then eventually connect into that. So this one we can kind of keep straight. To that extent. 
we'll bring this in. We'll bring that one in. Do the old crisscross applesauce. And then that will eventually... I mean, I wonder if I can do it right now. Yeah, have it completely run all the way down. Just so I know where the train track lines are going to be. Then the San Antonio one is going to, again, tear right through the middle. So, building-wise... And what I'm going to do for the San Antonio one... Is I'm going to have it run on this line here. So, I'm going to have to delete you, delete you. In the hopes that I can squeeze it between these two roads. Wait, why can't that connect? Oh, there we go. The hopes that I can squeeze it between these two roads. So, again, connections for this. Which I should be able to. I've still got the food and the machines there. So, it doesn't ruin anything too important. There we go. And quickly configure this one. Oh, I'm still on the Houston one. So what I'll do, I'll build this one. We'll get the train line connected to it. So then I know where my train track lies. So if i got to run train tracks anywhere else, down to where we're going to have the, the harbour for the shipping, then I know where, again, like I said, I know where the train tracks are. I can then navigate it all as and how I please. All right, that's now all gone. We'll start with the train tracks. Now, to me, it looks like we're kind of carving into a slight hill. So I'm not sure how this is going to play out. Uh, Platform-wise. So this is a Cineax special platform, this is. This is my go-to when it comes to now building cargo and passenger lines together. Passenger building. See, that's interesting. I'm not going to... Oh, okay, we still can get the connection. All right, we'll move that one down to there. Put this one here. Now, cargo buildings, I can squeeze one in there. Not so much in this side, but I can do the miscellaneous version, can't I, where that goes in? Okay, we're not going to get it on there, but that, that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't want it there anyway. And then we'll just kind of uh, add some additional roads in. Just to kind of finalize this area. Bring you down to there. Alright, good stuff. Let's just quickly sort the train uh, tracks out. So, I wasn't expecting to do all this, but now seeing how important it is for my other projects, I kind of do need to get this done. Uh, Crisscross just here. There we go. And then this will run into that. So we'll set this one up. And then that's all I need to do. I won't connect any train lines to this today. But at least it's there, ready for me to rock and roll when needs be. There we go. Very good, very good. Now, I could just go for the world's biggest curve like this, but it doesn't feel right. You know you know how I am, guys. You know how I am. So what we'll do is bring that down to a snap. Bring that into a snap here. Just delete enough back where we can create a simplistic bend. Probably go back by another set. Nice and simple. So I won't worry about anything else right now. We'll just keep it like that. But we now know where the train line is going to run. And this is quite important. This is quite important. Does this Houston train station... Oh, it doesn't. Oh, wait. It could connect to this. Right. This could. This could be. This could be the most important connection to date. 
Right, so that station here now connects to this. Now that's very important, okay? I'm going to explain why it's important in just a moment. Build that there. It now means this harbour can be on a train route. So we could train the oil into the here, into this station, drop it off which gets to there. That will then refine it and then we can then bring it back. And then we can still use this harbour as the main shipping route. Oh my goodness me. I am a freaking genius. Alright, back into play mode now. Because the cities can now grow. We're, we're pretty much okay. And I can then bring the food in here on train as well. Oh dear god. I am an absolute freaking genius. I'm, I'm a madman and a genius at the same time. So the cargo um, station here needs to be a super long one. So I'll place it just there. Now what I'll do is I'll add multiple platforms to this. Well, it's quite a short little route connection as well. We'll add multiple platforms to this. So what? And, and multiple tracks as well. Oh, do I need multiple tracks? I don't think I do, to be honest. I just need that donor. I think that's all I need, right? I mean, I could add multiple tracks. It's, again, it's not a problem. But I'm going to... It's quite a short run now, thinking about it. So, let's just see what I can do here, then. So, if I bring this out straight... And I bring that out straight as well. Oh, it's gonna, this is way too close for comfort, isn't it? So if I first start here, like I said, it's it's a bit too close for comfort. This is, and that in there. But then somehow I need to go and do. A connection like this, which. Look at this is shocking, but yet yeah, it's at the same time it's annoyingly possible. How that is allowing me to do that, I would have no idea. But that's perfect. I don't need it to be, I don't need it to be any, any more than what it is right now. I suppose you need to do a crisscross though. get from one side of the station to the other and in reality that's all I need because it's only going to bring food in on the one platform the other platform it loads up the oil to take it back and then drop off the thing because it's all going to go to the harbour yeah that's all I need why is this this plan coming together so easy I feel like it's coming together a little bit too easy might I add Right, the ships have not made their way to pick up any oil just yet. There is a little bit of oil waiting on this platform, so... While we are waiting, we're going to set up a new line. That's going to go from here to here, and then back again. So, when it, it's in Houston here, Houston, Texas branch, what it does is it loads up the... Um, oil that it's been refined goes to Houston it will then unload the oil that it loaded up then load itself back up with the fuel that then gets refined over here and as it gets back to here it will then unload the fuel now problem is right we have no need for it to unload the fuel here because now we need to set the next line up I know guys it is crazy it is crazy what we're now going to do but we'll set our first route up to the bahamas and again we'll go from here this oh my goodness me, i'm gonna have to extend this so much i'm now only just realizing how crazy this harbor's gonna be oh good god what i am creating a monster of a hub right now a monster of a shipping hub. So if I go over by one more on each one. 
and then go there and there. Or I'm going to add the landings. Just going to add those landings in real quick. So, new route. That will go from here. And we'll first go to the Bahamas. We'll do another new route that goes from here. To the Turks Islands. It takes a while to figure out what it needs to do. Then another new route from here. That's going to go to the uh, the to Bermuda. Now these are really long routes. Let's not beat around the bush right now. These are really long routes. Okay, and there's a lot more efficient ways in which I can do this. I could collect the goods, trade it to over here to make the distance a lot shorter. Obviously, these are all things that I could potentially do. And it's probably what I'll do in the future. But for now, we have to try and build this shipping industry. So this is just how we're going to do it before we then fine-tune it in the future. I've got so many routes right now that I now need to rename. But just by setting those routes up there, it means that this will produce the fuel and it will ship it back. So that train route will do exactly what I need it to do. Meaning, I now need to get a train on this route. My train thing's over here. It's so far away. So, it's electric. And I think we'll just go for the standard electric here. Now, it's not going to be a huge train because the distance is so short. And the goods don't get delivered that often. But I need to make sure it's a tanker which delivers all three. So, we'll add one. Oh, no, I just bought it. I didn't, I didn't, oh, I didn't mean to buy it. Alright, let's edit it. So capacity of 60, because I don't feel like we're going to get in the goods that often. Now I need to make sure that it goes on this route here. Which is line 9. It's the world's shortest route. <coughs> so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I've done all this and that train will get there before any of this fuel gets delivered. Let's fast forward. Now, I'm going to need three new ships again that are going to deliver the fuel. So, one, two, three. I'm just going to make sure that it's on these routes here, basically. So, we'll start with line 12. Line 11. Line 10. Now that's technically all done. Okay. This is not a get rich quick scheme kind of line. This is just to slowly grow the Caribbean islands, the Caribbean, uh, and seeing what happens. Now, the first ship has collected its goods. It's got 16 crude oil on board. This one's about to board right now with 24 available. And this one over here has got. Whoa, four, how, how much? Why is this one so much? I mean, they'll all eventually be really, you know, good and producing quite a lot. But this is the beginning of it, guys. This is the beginning of it. So, oil from, crude oil from, I keep calling this oil. Crude oil comes over and gets dropped off of the plant. We'll get refined into oil, which will then get trained over to here. Now, it's a two to one combination or ratio. So, two oil gets produced into one fuel. So, we'll then get, drop the oil off. It gets produced into fuel, which gets picked up on the same train, taken back here, and then dropped off onto the harbour docks. Then, the sh three ships that I've just recently purchased will then pick up these and take them to the individual Caribbean islands. So, this whole system then works. The train's already here, guys. Now, it will be a huge money pit to begin with, but eventually we should start seeing some benefits coming in. If we start to get a lot of oil uh, fuel here stacked up, I'll then start implementing additional ships. But all three of them are coming at once. This is exciting. We'll all see them you know, land at the same time. So this system works. It should be great, and it should grow the Caribbean islands, giving them more you know, people living there, which means my passenger lines will make more money. 
So uh, I want to see all these three land together. Or attempt to land together. Now hopefully, I mean this one ship here is completely filled to the brim. Hopefully we're going to get it often. This has now got three places it delivers to. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's that over there gets three places it delivers to. So this has got so much oil now available, which is starting to put cr uh, normal oil, yeah, the refined oil on, on there. How much did that actually make anyway, in terms of finances? Two million. Okay, these could be quite profitable. So that is then going to pick up only 20, because that's all it's kind of refined at the moment. But these numbers will slowly, slowly, slowly increase. So 20 uh, cru uh, refined oil is going to produce 10 fuel. So it's like 2 oil to 1, 2 of them to 1. You see how it works. So then we should get them fuel, which you can now see, stacking up on here. So it all works. It's all perfect. So that will go pick up some more oil. Which picks up 38. Not bad. And then when it goes over to here right now, we'll pick up the fuel, drop the fuel off. And I don't know how it's going to choose how it distributes it between the three ships. I'm not sure what the logic's going to be in that. You see we've got a huge tanker there now waiting. So that'll pick it all up right now, which picks up 19 uh, fuel. So yeah, the distribution logic will be kind of interesting. Because sometimes it does like to... Um, what's the word? preference one route over the other sometimes so you can see yeah line line 11 gets the lowest priority but all three of them are getting fuel so now we just got to wait for these three ships here to make their way over well this ship has got so much on board but it's still got quite a bit waiting anyway so sweet cash should be made Sweet cash should be made. This train over here is going to do pretty well. Okay, the expenses are quite high. <laughs> Wait till it's constantly like filled up. Then we should be good. Then we should be good. So then, when it comes to food, once I set up the run coming from Oklahoma City, I can bring it down here, which will feed these cities. Also drop a load off to the, the harbour here. Um... Which technically the ships that we got on the go right now don't carry food, if that makes sense. Like, I could replace them, but I don't... There's no cargo ship that carries everything, is there? Not really, so you kind of have to have then a separate ship. Again, not a problem. Because it will obviously do different things. But it all leads me to creating this huge shipping industry in, in the Gulf. Right, what are the splits right now? 31, 19 to 9. So that's the weakest one going to the Turk Islands right now. I'm assuming line 12 is Bermuda. So it's the Bahamas that are getting the, the biggest priority. Which is understandable because it's the biggest one out of the three of them. So they're going to be the hungriest for the goods. Is that just is that just is that picking up the fuel? What's going on? Well my game glitched out then for a second. That was really weird. See that's now picked up the fuel and now off it goes. So it will take a while before we see the goods being delivered. This will level up at some point as well. Let's go wait for the shipment to increase. And this should level up quite a bit as well. Just waiting for the transport to increase too. Not bad. Not bad indeed. So now technically we've got the Houston set up. There was two lines, which is the one from uh, Detroit and Charlotte right now, which do need to terminate in Houston for my four station rule that I'm using in this series. So to be able to do that then, I first got to add in the signals that are required. And then Houston is pretty much then all set up on my my routes. Very good, very good, very good. So, passenger lines. Line 1, which comes from Charlotte. 
So we need to manage this line. And we need to add in. So it gets to New Orleans. We'll delete the Atlanta here. And it will go then to Houston. So it comes in and we're going to push it on. No, yeah, it can stay on that one because it's going to then go back, isn't it? Houston. And it gets back to Charlotte. But we don't want it to do that. We then want it to go back to New Orleans. Then to Atlanta. Then back to Charlotte. Then back to Atlanta. And vice versa. That actually wasn't doing what I wanted it to do in the first place. But it now uses the opposite side of the, of the station. This also does the same. Glorious. So now the other line, which is line two, comes from Miami. So this should do what it sh what it needs to do. So Miami to St. Petersburg to Panama to New Orleans to Panama, St. Petersburg, and then back to Miami. Perfect. That does exactly what I needed to do. That's line two, by the way. Line three, if I manage this line, goes from Upper Detroit down to Nashville to New Orleans. So we delete the Nashville. It then goes to New Orleans. Oh, no, I've done a new route. What am I doing? Line three. New Orleans. It then goes to Houston. Nope. New Orleans. We'll get this right. To Houston. Back to New Orleans. Back to Nashville. Nice and simple. Nice and simple, boys. No dramas. No dramas. So, this here... So when it comes down to New Orleans to, to in the first place. Well, it's on four. Oh, four's over there. Three, two, one. Yeah, it needs to be on that side. I mean, I could bring it into other sides. And then coming back into New Orleans... I could get it to run on that one. Which keeps it pretty much separate. It's just coming in on the same one on, on the way in. And that's where it was double sided, right? Yeah. Because I've only got, really got one. I mean, you could, you could carve it in half one of these and turn it into a passenger one. Yeah, why don't I do that? Right, let me delete... And then platforms double the passenger lineup. So I get the best of both worlds when it comes to these lines. So when it comes into New Orleans for the first time, rather than sharing the same one there, I can get it to run onto there. And you could also have a run over one run on the inside too. Oh, I'm a genius at times, guys. I am. I, I get amazed at my own geniusness. So good. So good. So that now extends Houston onto the line. Which opens up Houston right now. So in terms of charts, we should see like a huge boom in growth. But how far are these ships right now? Here is the first... Is this the one for uh, the Bahamas? No. Are you? Yeah, I'm going to assume this one is because it's got 50 fuel. So I wonder how much is then going to grow the Bahamas if it grows it at all. Because the fuel supply is quite huge. Oh, look at the speed difference in the in the hovercraft. Yeah, that was quick. Right, so looking at the Bahamas right now, do we see any growth spurts, any new buildings pop up? As it gets its goods now delivered. Made one million. Any major changes? Might need a few revelations of that. 
but again we should see the charts kind of grow exponentially again <clears throat> so for the first time ever it's just received its fuel it might be waiting for the next set of fuel to grow again but it's definitely going to be a lot of waiting now as they come back for the next time there's a whole lot more fuel now waiting for them as they pick it up right there goes the passenger train to Houston and there goes the pa there comes in the, the passenger train from Miami 6.2 million Whoo, that's a lot of people isn't it right line two that goes away down to here it's got so many people waiting at the station but then again, it's just picked everybody up. Yeah, we're all good. We're fine. I was about to start stressing there, but we're fine. We're fine. Right, the Turks Islands about to get their first or the next delivery. Or the, yeah, the first delivery, sorry. Of the fuels. Which there's only 10 on board. It's not a lot for them. But they're only really requesting 38. That's why the numbers are so low. And not as big as the Bahamas numbers, because the demand's not quite there just yet. Cargo delivery. Cargo delivery. It's a lot of fun to see them get their actual deliverers. And we'll just let them be. So, long way to go. The hovercraft's going to catch up soon. Is that the hovercraft? Oh no, that's the little ferry I... Uh, yeah, we changed it to a ferry, didn't we? I forgot about that. Which was making no cash. Now all of a sudden, it's making cash. And that's just got to be purely, purely down to the speed in which it now travels at. So this ship is looking pretty good, boys. Looking pretty good. Um, these numbers are starting to shift a little bit higher. So we're getting more fuel now on the, uh, the platform, the docks. We should say a lot of fuel still now waiting now is this train starting to make a bit more cash no no we're still waiting for these to kind of level up but you really ultimately was waiting for the shipment to increase you are just waiting for the shipment to keep increasing this is just waiting for the transfer numbers to be increased as well so you just got to wait for everything to slowly level up but it's, it's there. It, it's slowly happening. It is slowly happening for us. So we can be excited by that. We can be excited by that. So I reckon then. We need to run. A line from Minneapolis. Down to Oklahoma. And we've got the option to either bring it into San Antonio. A little crisscross there. Or I could run this directly into New Orleans to kind of add that extension on it, which creates our full run. Add a little V just there as it kind of runs up, and they can then bring the food in. Also then distribute the food to these cities as well, which is quite important. But look at it, guys. Do you know what I just realized? I could technically connect this line up to here, and we could get a train from New York to L.A., I mean, I'm not going to do it just yet, but it's possible. Now, does this plane make cash? Oh, it makes tons of cash. But it's never busy, though, is it? It's never, it's never busy, busy. And I think it's because we don't, haven't really built the cities up in, in reality, have we? But we do need to do a bit more work on the west coast shortly. Um, these cities are definitely getting bigger right now. The growth is there. Phoenix has definitely got a lot bigger. Uh, if I check the towns. What is the biggest city now in terms of size? So it's New York. What's the biggest west coast city? LA. Okay. Okay. The biggest city that we're not going to right now is Washington. No, no, sorry, we are going to Washington. I was thinking of the state Washington then. It's got Las Vegas, no, Havana, 
going to all these uh, Kansas, Toronto, Montreal, Panama, Denver. We are not going to Denver. That is the biggest city that we are currently not going to. Or is it Kansas? No, we're going to Kansas, but we're feeding it. That's the difference. So yeah, it is Denver. Zero passengers, zero machines, zero food. Yes, that is the city that we're not going to right now. Then Austin. Oh, which is right here. So I have a feeling Austin's going to be quite a big city. I have a feeling it's going to be an absolutely huge city right now. Very interesting, guys. Very interesting. So ships are doing their thing. Did the ship get over to the Bahamas? This is not the ship, is it? Oh, no, it's on the way back. Oh, it's expanded. The Bermuda's expanded right now up to the coastline here. That's had a huge growth recently. And it's had its fuel coming in. Has the Turk Islands expanded? Not yet. Did the Bahamas expand? Well, they've, they've, they've used their fuel and they have expanded. Yeah, they have. You can see the little road coming down there. That road going out that way as well. This little loop here. The Bahamas is growing, which is going to put more people on our passenger line. It really is. This is quite fun. I'm, I'm loving this. I'm loving seeing all these little stuff now happening, guys. It is pretty cool to see. Now, we do need to connect Houston up to both sides. We'll do that at some point. I slightly destroyed it, but now we've grown it. Uh, the city itself doesn't get any of the fuel, so we might have to set up a route at some point to bring all that in. Um, but we probably need it to be to producing more. Is that train full? 60, yes. So it, it will keep delivering. It's a very short route. So we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Lots of passengers are waiting. It's exciting, isn't it? We're making some serious cash. Now, the money has kind of slightly dropped off a little bit as we've been exp um, spending it, expanding in different areas. And we've really kind of made the routes a little bit longer in some degree. So at some point, we got to look towards kind of making huge profits yet again. But it will all turn around for us. It will all turn around for us. So our biggest city in the game then is New York City. And right now, as you can see, it is screaming out. Uh, what's going on here? Have I got a traffic jam and no one's told me? Is this the reason why I'm not making much cash right now? What is going on here? Something here doesn't seem right. Hmm. Is it this train here? On that? That's stopping us? Right, bring that a bit more forward. That train then moves. I don't think we should have a signal if you're going that way. To then have to, to be able to stop right there. This should now fix it all. No wonder the money dropped off in the past few years. I had an issue and, and it, the game didn't even tell me I had an issue. That's crazy. So there's no signal if... Oh, see, there shouldn't be a signal there either. See, it's coming back to bite me on the booty right now, having in double signals on all the lanes when I don't need double signals. But that was kind of annoying. It's a good job I checked New York, isn't it? Otherwise, I wouldn't have spied that for quite some time. But we're back to normal now, guys. It's crazy how one signal can just kind of completely ruin everything. Man, we must have had loads of passengers waiting at some of these stops. Yeah, two, nearly 300 passengers waiting here. That in itself is kind of crazy. But, um, right, we're back to normal now, guys. We're back to normal. <laughs> 
I might need to create some some bulkier lanes to allow the trains to flow a lot easier around these areas. I mean, it's all two lanes, two train tracks. We might have to bulk up to a third or maybe, you know, four in some stages. Just see what happens. But no dramas now, guys. Give them time to kind of get out of here nice and easy. And we should be pretty much fine. Good to go. We should be good to go. So, yes, New York is definitely growing again. It's got so many roads going leading here, there, and everywhere. It's a huge city. And then in second place, we have, obviously, Miami. Absolutely huge itself as well. Um, this is... It, I don't think Miami's getting any machines, is it? So, that's something that we're going to have to kind of look towards. Giving them machines, and they'll grow into an absolutely huge power. So, I had the feeling that these could, this uh, Miami could grow bigger than New York if it got machines. But then again, New York's been starved for quite some time. So we'll see what happens in general in the long run. Uh, guys, we are going to end it here. I hope you did enjoy this. If you did, smash that like button down below. Till next time, I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye. <laughs>